Pompey! Let the games begin! Slaves that live earn their freedom. Only death is freedom for a gladiator. Can you feel that? Shields up! We have to get to the harbor. Okay. Here's what I need to know first. Mm -hmm. Are you ever going to get a role where you get to be like indoors and clean and not fighting anybody? I think there's like a self-destructive side of me that just wants to do things where I get thrown about and covered in mud and ash and blood and, and rain and snow. I don't know, I, I, want the, I want that romantic comedy on a Hawaiian beach. <laughs> Is it coming? Not just yet. Okay, so you're gonna be getting beat up for a little while. So. Yeah. Tell me about the training that had to go into this role. I know you've done a little training for Game of Thrones, mm -hmm. but this is intense. This was another level, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and one that I wanted to really invest in. Uh, I talked to the director when we were when we were prepping for the movie, and, and in the in the script it had always talked about him being very lean and muscly, and gladiators were in those days, you right. know, they were they were kind of prize fighters, they were fed very well. They probably looked a lot healthier than most of the average Pompeians did. Mm -hmm. So I, um, I found that was very important for me, and to look, it was a very aesthetic visual movie, and I wanted right. to fit that, you know, aesthetic visual. Uh, so I, I went for it, became obsessional, and and, and uh, as you do, and, and I won't be doing it again for a little while. Oh, I was gonna say, so now that you've got, I mean, the abs, congratulations. Thank you. I have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> look great. You're not. You know, is it now like, well, now that I look like this and I work so hard, let's get a bunch of roles. No, it's the exact opposite. <laughs> it's it's now I look like that in a movie. Mm -hmm. Everyone's going to presume I look like that under this. So like that. I have to do that. Anyway. So tell me a little bit about the big, big fight scene in the arena when you mm -hmm. guys are all chained up. What? How much of that was really happening? Is that you? How much is special effects? Because that whole scene I'm just like oh, the whole time yeah it's amazing. It, it was um it wasn't special effects at all that was all very real that whole thing was very real because um the chains around us mm. for some reason couldn't be CGI'd so we were fighting four or five guys at any one time clambering up the side of a rock and then fighting another four or five guys and the whole while you're tangling yourself up in this chain so there's a whole dance that has to be done over this chain while you're doing it's a full you know full limb thing Three days of rehearsal, and then it was a full before week. Before shooting. Before shooting, yeah. Um, because we first started to do it, we, we had practiced this fight in a room, mm -hmm. and then we got out onto set, put the chains around, and we we tempted it for the first time, and everyone fell over. <laughs> and it was real a, injuries. Yeah, it was about twenty. The twentieth time we rehearsed it, people stopped falling over. Oh it was it was hard. That's impressive. Mm -hmm. Okay, so my last question is. Now that you've done a film that's, you know, historically a fact, this is a real mm -hmm. event, are there other events in history that you would like to see brought to the screen that haven't been already, specifically maybe that you'd want to be a part of? It's the, uh, it's the centenary of the First World War coming up. That would, that, that deserves to be, it's been depicted in movies a lot, but it mm -hmm. deserves to be reinvestigated. Um, there's so much, isn't there? I mean, I find historical movies fascinating, and I, I would hope that I would do many more in my career. Fantastic. Well, I hope that you get to do one where you don't get beat up the whole Thank time. <laughs> we'll see. It's nice. Take